My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Amron. The giant camp is just ahead. I thought we might knock out some of these bounties before we return to Amber Creek and meet the Jarl. Jazz Bay grapes here. All right, Amron, I'll use magic. Gods know that I need to practice my magic skill. What happened? Did you anger one of the mammoths? Hmm. Those are interesting. Okay, let's see what they have over here in the chest. Oh, look at this. Fancy. Okay. Let's see what else we have here on our map. All right, so they're still headed back to False Falscar. And we'll meet up with them later. I think there's some quest we can do in Amber Creek. I'm sorry, they're headed back to Amber Creek. Let's go. What can I get for you? Okay, over here, Amron. These people are usually always out here tending the farm. Hmm. All right, I'm 
sure if I try to pick the lock, it will cause trouble. You know how jumpy these people are here in Amber Creek. What about you? Are you who I'm looking for? Have you met my son? He's a fantastic young lad. Yes, I am looking for you. Is the farm in town yours? Yes, it is. And Kalevi helps me run it, of course. We grow vegetables and occasionally have some livestock, but we mainly focus on poultry. If I may say, they are the finest chickens in Falskar. When they aren't randomly being slaughtered by vicious beasts in the dead of night, that is. Yes, I'd heard. Someone alerted me to the problem you were having. So tell me more about this something that's killing your chickens. Yes, but I don't know what. Every once in a while when I come outside in the morning, some of them are dead. More and more often recently. I looked into it for a while, even stayed up all night to keep watch. But I never saw anything. Neither did the guards when they kept an eye out. Whatever it is, it almost seems to know when we are watching the animals. I tell you what, if you want to wait outside during the night to see if you can catch it, I wouldn't object. Just try to do it in a timely manner. The loss of my poultry is costing me money, and I'd rather this was handled sooner than later. If you feel up to it, hide outside in the bushes around midnight and wait for the beast to strike. Then do not kill it. Follow it to its lair. I have no doubt that there will be more of whatever is attacking my chickens there. Once you find its lair, kill it and its kin. I'll pay you for your efforts. More so even if you can stop this soon. All right. It sounds like a deal. Safe travels. So what time is it now? 5.03. All right, Amron, I think we have time for, well, you anyway, to have dinner. Let's go. The house is right here. All right, I think I'll do some reading. You go ahead and cook and do whatever it is you need to do, Amron. close to midnight. Let's go ahead and get over there to the farm. I keep forgetting my mask. Vampire vision on, so I can see. All right, let's wait here. Amron, where are you? What? Looks like a wolf. supposed to scare it off, like it might attack me and force me to kill it. Huh? Stay down. It 
seems we're at a stalemate. Is it going to kill the chicken? It's almost as though it's frightened by it. All it would take is one spell or one crossbow bolt and it would be dead. I can't believe we're sitting here trying to follow its orders. Whoever this is that told us about this. Look at the chicken. The chicken isn't even frightened. But the wolf seems to be. Let's move in closer, Amran. Maybe we can scare the wolf off without killing it. You! Hmm. It's the most cowardly wolf I've ever seen. Come on, Amran, let's follow it. Nice of it to stop and howl. It's even using the roads. sure how it got up this hill. Maybe on this side. Yes. Sounds like more of them. What? Here they come. ran off, but not far. All right, good work, let's continue. Sunken Skull Barrow, weren't we here before? Wasn't this where the necromancers were? Now, let's... Let's go inside. This looks familiar. Oh, yes. It's the necromancers. All right. Amron, we can't play around. I have to use my weapons. Oh, look out. They're already here. And I, I wanted to charge my... to charge my weapon. I really hate it when I'm rushed. Are you all right, Amran? I 
think I do need to feed. They're better. I didn't have the luxury of having dinner like you did. <laughs> Find your way. It would well, be easy to get lost in here. If you would like to go first, you most certainly can. All right. I don't like the looks of this. No, this is where we ran into lots of trouble before. All right, so there are fewer necromancers. This corridor is not filled with them like before, and I have to remember not to use anything too explosive, because I wonder, they may have found that crystal fragment that we couldn't find. to stop for a while and light a fire? <laughs> I suppose it would. Well, you probably earned it. spell, but I'll take it and check it out. This is a different location. Finally. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could help. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and these necromancers will have. Crystal fragment. Hello? Who lurks in the shadows? Oh, no, you don't.
Nice teamwork, Amran. I think I was collecting like this. bloody rags. It's a powerful enchantment. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's about time they go down. Necromancers certainly don't make my death easier. <laughs> yes, I would like to feed. Coughing, are you all right? I remember that this was not coming back to life. like we found a crystal fragment as well. Excellent. Excellent. is incredibly pleased with my latest report. We've been using the magic from our fragment to control a wolf. So far, we've been able to control him, sending him all the way to Amber Creek where he attacks a chicken, then returns to the cave. Varen has asked that we do not harm the local population during our research. But we certainly think a simple chicken now and then is worth it for the greater good of Falscar and its people. We must now work to refine our abilities and better control the magic. Oh. All right. So. I think this is the place where we lost the crystal. It got blown off the pedestal. Fortunately, we were able to recover it this time. Well, the 
This is quite a bright outfit. All right, Aaron, I think we're finished here. Let's go. Don't go stopping for a nap. If you fall asleep in this place, you'll never wake up. This way. Yes. What can I do for you, friend? All right, I think we'll return back to Amber Creek and let him know of our success. Kunari. I saw a mud crab the other day. Did you now? The wolves, being controlled by necromancers, were at fault for your chicken's deaths. Wolves and necromancers? How odd. We try and try, but this land, it only ever seems to get worse. At least you put an end to it. You even stopped the wolves on your first try, saving my valuable chickens. I thank you for that. Here's your reward, with something extra for your timely work. <laughs> In addition, I'd like to offer you the convenience of trading with me whenever you'd like. Night or day, I'm more than happy to barter with you. Hopefully that will help even things out for how much you've helped me with this. All right, well, I appreciate it. What do you have for sale? Just some extra goods I've got laying around. <laughs> no, I'm afraid these items that you're selling... They just won't do. Let's see if there's anything I can sell to you. I needed to check the enchantment on that. Huh, can sell the crossbow. see maybe they might be useful for Amran. All right, that will do. Safe travels. Thank you. You there. I think I needed to speak with you as well. I still can't believe what happened to Revolve. Do you need help with something? Might I ask a personal favor of you? It's rather personal, but you saved Machias, so I know I can trust you. All right then, what is it? Well, um, I recently obtained some information about where I was born. You see, I don't think that Kanari is my real father. What? We are both Bosmer, but I think I was born in another village and brought here when it was burned down. Please, go to Pinevale. Try to find some evidence that I was born there. Just don't bring this up with Kanari. It would just crush him if he knew I was looking into this. I still care for him very much as my father. I just have to know. I know it's a simple request, but it's very important and would mean a lot to me if you could help. All right then. And, but what will you do if you find out that Kunari isn't? Your father. I'm not really sure. He's lied to me about this all my life. Lied? But he's also done so much for me. I'll confront him and finally get the truth. Then, I just don't know. What makes you think that Kunari isn't your father? Well, for starters, when I ask anyone about my mom, they avoid answering or change the subject. I figured that if my mom died when I was young, they would at least ramble on fondly about her, or something. Recently, I found a book that talked about the attack on Pineville. It said that the merchant that found the town in ruins was given an infant. He took that infant here, to Amber Creek. I think I was that child. 
The dates line up more or less, and it would explain a lot. I just want to know. All right then, very well. On your way out, let Kanari know if you need to buy any food. <laughs> All right, Amran. We have our next assignment. Come on, let's go.